Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com coming at you today for another shave review video! <laughs> I'm that excited. Um, it has been many years since we did a slant showdown and that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be looking at the guillotine style razor, some modern, some vintage examples and comparing, contrasting and how they can help you get a great shave. So, let's get started. Good Lord! Oh, I am exclaiming because <laughs> at the time of the shooting, it is the coldest month of the year here in Phoenix. This morning I got in my truck, it was 33 degrees. I know if you're in the Midwest or somewhere else, you're saying, <laughs> 33 degrees. <laughs> I'm a desert dweller. That's cold. That's about as cold as it gets here in Phoenix. It's cold, cold as ice. But I like the cold shave, I like the cold water experience. The skin gets hot, fresh, the hair stands up. So we're gonna use the uh, Razor Emporium pre-shave bar, which is now. Dun, 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 bum, 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 dun, dun, dun. But seriously, uh, we have got a pre-shave going on here. I am just scrubbing away. Scrubbity dub, scrub, scrubbity scrub, scrub, scrub. Gonna get down the foundation. You look at it, you're like, what is that? This is the foundation for an explosive lather experience. We're gonna multiply, exemplify, magnify all of your soapy dreams <laughs> right here with Razor Emporium Barbershop Shaving Soap. Made in-house, part of our small batch series. No, no one makes it for us. We figured it out. It's great. Um, okay, let's bloom up a lather. All you have to do, guys, is just load for a few seconds on your soap dish. I always get people saying, what do I do with this? How do I do this? Just load for a few seconds, and then go to your face. And if you're hearing all that too much swooshing, means you can add some water. I'm not gonna waste all this, cause that's good stuff right there. Making a mess. And all that time I could be in a bowl is instead spent on my face. And even, even that could use a little more water. Oh yeah. And we're cooking with bacon. If your soap doesn't have that slap sound, you're doing it wrong. That soft, wet thud, it's not just for sound effects, guys. That's a measurement tool of how hydrated my lather is. And that tells me, if, it, if it's making more of like a dry spackly sound, tells me I need to add some water. If it's making more of a sloppy wet towel sound, it's telling me it's too watery and it's if it also if it's running down my face, right? But that really perfect kind of Goldilocks right in the middle where you get some, some slap, some thud together, that is key hydration, peak hydration. Right where it should be. All right, I'm all full of energy this morning. I had my green tea, so I am pumped. Um, all right, we are lathered up. Let's get loaded up. We're gonna try some of these Wizmat uh, Super Radiums. These are from Procter & Gamble, and these are made Russia. All right, so I don't know where to begin other than the best. The console, no. <laughs> I'll try to be as unbiased as possible. Yeah, I do have a horse in the race. The console is, is our baby child here. The, uh, or actually it's our brain child <laughs> um, from Rex. 
But I'll start, you know, I'm gonna start with the classic. I'm gonna grab the, the, the tried and true classic that everyone thinks of when they think of a slant, and we'll compare everything to the Mercur 37C, the slant bar razor for Mercur. This razor has been in production in one form or the other since the 50s. I actually have an old catalog from the 50s that shows um, the Mercur product line and this is in it. Uh, have the mold changed? Yeah, we actually have an example of a, of a vintage one we'll show next. Uh, but let's, we'll, we'll just start with the classic that you can get right off the shelf today, get from us, get from Amazon, get from I'm sure any other wet, wet shaving vendor, the 37C HD, which means heavy duty, which means this has a bigger, heavier handle. The whole idea, guys, with the slant bar razor is it's putting the blade at a slight angle and you're gonna get a guillotine effect. So it's gonna slice through your hair. So it's kind of almost moving down and sideways at the same time versus a perpendicular chop, like a regular straight bar razor. So it's supposed to make for a more efficient experience, almost like doing two passes at once. It's also really great for people with sensitive skin uh, who need to do less passes. I've got two and a half days growth. Let's see how this performs. Ready? Here goes. Nice. Honestly, a little bit harsh. From what I'm used to with my console, that's right. Uh, I can definitely feel more blade on this. It's efficient for sure, but in my opinion, just a little bit uncomfortable, tiny bit. Um, I just, just for, just for comparison, before I, I immediately throw this uh, out with the bath water, I'm just gonna grab another blade. Just, I wanna just double check here because I haven't used the Wizmat. I've used them a few times. As much as I have the Perma Sharps. I just wanna throw a Perma Sharp in here and just do another pass and see if that changes anything from my experience. Permasharps are something that I think really resemble the Paul Silvers. The Paul Silvers um, are something I've used for years and years and love them, tried and true. So I'm just gonna try real quick before I write this off with a two stroke evaluation. You gotta do more than two strokes to evaluate guys. See, a little more comfortable. Okay, I knew it. So yeah, that's nice. That I want, oh, oh yeah. It's actually closer and it's more comfortable. So, bam. It just goes to show you, everyone's always like, I need another razor. I need another razor handle. Oh, I gotta buy the latest and greatest. Try some different blades, guys. Get, get a variety pack, get a sample pack, try some blades. Okay, we're gonna use that as my basis evaluation because that was a good combo. Very close, very comfortable, very smooth, no tugging, no kind of harsh feeling. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use that, so let's, let's move on. So I would rate this very efficient. I always tell people who call in or email and they say, gosh, I, I wanna do multiple passes, but I get irritation from multiple passes. They say, how do you try to slant bar razor? What's a slant bar? I say, get the 37 HD. Uh, it, it's more efficient. Okay, we're gonna move over to this vintage Kohl's. I have this example. This is currently on the website for sale. Maybe by the time you're watching it, it won't be because someone will watch this video and buy it. But it's currently up for sale. This is the vintage. This is probably circa 1960s. Now Kohl's was made in, Kohl's is just a cutlery company. They, they were famous for making like silverware and knives and cutlery and stuff. They contracted to Mercur to make their razor. Now you can see, let's just hold up real quick and I'll try to hold real steady. These two razors, it looks to me like the, like the guard is the exact same and the handle is the exact same and the lower knob is the exact same. But what difference do you guys see? The cap. The cap on the modern one has scallops and the cap on the vintage one doesn't. So sometimes we get people who have an old vintage Kohl's or Hoffert's razor and they, they lose the cap or the cap gets corroded and they want to get a replacement Mercur, it's not going to look the same way. Plus the old ones usually were silver plated and the new stuff's all chrome plated. This is a vintage gold. I've not redone any of this gold. It's original vintage gold, which is I, I, in phenomenal condition for what you usually get with gold. Usually gold is worn away and corroded by, by now. But we're gonna load up that same exact Perma Sharp blade and we're gonna switch over. You know what? Very similar. I, I don't wanna say this, I really don't. Cause you know me, I'm Mr. Vintage, right? I like the modern one better. 
I did. It was just a little bit, little bit more uh, smooth feeling and not as tuggy feeling. Same blade. So maybe those super duper fins on this cap are making a difference. I don't know. But uh, it was still great. It wasn't like it was horrible. You know, had I not compared it to the original, I probably would say, yeah, it's great. Um, but yeah, so I would still say my favorite out of these so far, we're just going to say is right now, is, is the regular old 37. And since I only have one other razor to compare it to, it's in second place, the gold, the gold Kohl's. Um, I'm going to grab another classic. Before we go uh, to some of these other obscure ones, I'm going to grab another classic that people have, have say is supposed to be like the Mercur. That's the Parker. Parker came out with this 55 SL a few years ago, and it looks a lot like the Mercur. And I think they got, Parker got a little bit of flack for kind of copying them, but a lot of people have copied uh, the Mercur stuff. So this has got a longer handle. This is like their graphite finish, I believe. Um, it does not have the scallops in the cap, so it does look more like the vintage Coles here. But let's just give it a shot. It, it also comes apart differently. This comes off like a traditional three-piece razor where the entire handle comes off and then you have the, um, the cap and guard as their own little deal. So I'm gonna load up that exact same PermaSharp blade. Screw on my three-piece handle. I do like the elegance of a, of a two-piece handle, I won't lie, and that's why we carry that kind of idea with the Rex stuff. But three-piece is nice, it's, it's very traditional classic. My first observation is it looks like there's, there's not as much blade gap. So let's just try it out. It is a little bit more forgiving. That's my best word. It didn't tug or pull necessarily, but it, um, what I kind of, my first assessment was, was correct, that there's not as much gap. So I think if you're someone who wants to try a slant and you are maybe just a little bit scared, you're scared, <laughs> or you're just apprehensive or it looks a little kind of, uh, you know, a little bit aggressive for you, this is a great option. It's, it's just like dialing it down slightly. It'd be like having a fat boy and going from setting five to setting four. It's not a huge jump, but it's a little bit more forgiving than the Mercur. I'm gonna put this in second place now. The coals got bumped down. Um, okay, let's keep on rolling here before my lather dries up. We may have to rehydrate. I'm talking and blabbing. I'm going to reach for, I want to finish on the console, you know, so. Um, we're going to reach for something else I don't think I've used. If I have, just maybe once. The Holy Black. I think this is what, they're SR71? Yeah. SR71 from Holy Black. Holy Black is a company out of New York. They make a lot of great barbershop and grooming products and they do you know, hardware and software. And uh, one of the owners, Stefan Vincent, is, uh, is a good, good dude out there. His brother and him run the business. I've been to their shop and uh, met him many times at some of the meetups. Good dude, like his stuff. He's very creative, very original. I've always admired his, um, his brand and, and what he does. I think it's very, very cool. So. Again, we're throwing this in here. It's obviously the first thing you're noticing is how honking huge this thing is. That's kind of the whole appeal. You compare it to like, let's say you're, you're 37 and it's, it's, it's you know, startling. You know, giant handle, giant guard, giant cap. It's like, um, <laughs> it's like Mario Brothers 3 when you go to Big Land, you know, everything's giant, yeah. The blade gap doesn't look too, too aggressive, but we're gonna find out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, Keep it easy and keep it more on the cap and slide down. Wow, that's that's really nice. Honestly, the big giant um, guard feels great. It really lets you kind of pivot and, and figure out where you want to be. And there's like a little ridge on here. I like it. Um, it, it may, it, I, I just may have to say, it may surpass the 37 for my first you know, initial impression. Uh, very comfortable, very easy to use. I think, I think if you, you know, match up the comfort and easy to use, I'm gonna have to put this just one notch in front of the Mercur. 
They're really close though. I mean, it's, they're, they're both, it's like Chevy and Ford here. It's great, guys. Um, okay, we're down to two. Down to two. Uh, so we are gonna reach over and grab another friend's razor, Douglas from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Phoenix Shaving for short. They make this phantom blue, epic, open comb, double slant safety razor. Yeah! <laughs> So pretty cool packaging here. Douglas always uh, does something very unique, uh, as you guys know, very eccentric guy, nice guy. I actually just talked to him this morning. Um, we've been buddies for a long time as well. Another force to be reckoned with in the wet shaving world. Puts out great hardware, great software. Now this one probably has the most slant of all the razors here meaning it's putting the, the blade at the most amount of slant angle and also torque. So some people complain that some slant razors only angle it and some do more of a torque. This is kind of really an extreme of both. Now Douglas um, gets a lot of inspiration from razors in the past and I think this one is a direct kind of uh, reinterpretation or kind of reimagining or, or just reproduction of a, of a vintage razor. This one's Bakelite, so in, like injected molded plastic. Does not have the weight like the other ones do. It's also the only open comb. The other ones have kind of a scalp safety bar. I was expecting not to like this just because of the, I'm not a big fan of lightweight razors. Uh, I like when the razor really does the work. How to trim a sideburn with a slant razor. But it's nice. Um, the performance, it's not overly aggressive, it's very smooth. I'm, I'm impressed. I think if you're looking for a travel razor or razor to take to the gym, or if you're backpacking and you wanna save every single ounce, or just if you wanna try something different, this is, this is cool. Uh, I definitely, um, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I think it's going to go, I think it's gonna go somewhere right around a Parker. It's hard guys, because all these are doing great. It's not like one of them you know, is doing horrible and the rest are doing phenomenal. We're talking shades of gray difference here, Sli you know, little slices. I'm gonna put it right behind the, the Mercur. That's, that's saying a lot. Um, but really, I wish I could make it kind of parallel with the, with the Parker. I think it's very much in that same vein. And last but not least, I was trying to be unbiased and we'll finish up with, with uh, the Rex console. I'm just gonna quickly rehydrate my lower neck. Definitely the most sensitive place on my, my, my face. And um, switch over to the console. Now the console's been out since for more than a year now. And um, Kind of the only, only guy in the market to do kind of a unique thing. We, first off, it's made in America, which I think this is the only razor on the table that's made in America. The other ones are made in China, India, Pakistan. It's my guess for all, all of them. I mean, Mercur, Germany, yeah. Um, so I guess that's a German one, right? But, and Kohl's. Um, so I'm loading this up. And we got our blade loaded. It's also, so it's American made, it's stainless steel. There's not another stainless steel razor over there. Those are all zinc alloy or plastic. Um, maybe some brass on the handles. And then this is also adjustable. So I can change. So instead of it being one size fits all, like I hope I like this, I can tailor it. And since I designed the razor, I know I like it right around the setting. <laughs> so I was trying to have the, you know, inside baseball for the last one. And obviously you can tell I hate it. <laughs> because it's something that I had a hand in working on, it's my favorite. Uh, but I've tried to be as unbiased as possible. The adjustment's a huge thing. Also, I think we really um, 
do a great job of having efficiency without blade feel. It's something that took over a year to perfect. Let's come over here now. The, you know, when we first came out with the Ambassador, people loved the stainless steel, they loved the Made in America, but some people didn't like the blade feel, positive blade exposure. Um, and so we said, let's make an adjustable that, that combats that. So we wanted to do something different. So we thought, okay, instead of just having like a light, heavy version of the Ambassador or blade neutral, blade positive example, I was like, no, let, let's, let's, let's wrap two ideas together in one. We'll do a blade neutral experience, but we'll also make it super efficient um, with a slant bar and have it be adjustable. And that's, when you line up those things, the stainless steel, the adjustable, the um, made in America, it's in a class of its own, but it's also in a price tag of its own. <laughs> you know, there's a huge difference in price here. So that's a consideration. And I'll, I'll knock myself, I'll, the, you know, the razor that I have a horse in, right? Uh, it's my horse over there in the race. I, yeah, it, you can't make it in America for cheap. Had we made it in China, guys, it'd be a fraction of the price, but it's not, it's made in America. Um, you're gonna pay a machine shop, you know, $150 an hour to run parts for you, you know, do the math. Um, a lot of components, 10 parts for that razor. These razors are three parts. Um, anywho, yeah, that's a, that's a $350 razor. I'm sure you can look around for a used one. Sometimes we have scratch and dent, where if you know, we got a return or one got damaged in, in a production, but it's still shavable, just has an aesthetic flaw, we can sell it for usually half price. Um, but anywho, the most comfortable for me was the console. I think if anyone else had an adjustable slant, I could probably dial it to be perfect for me. That's the whole benefit of adjustable, is you can dial it in. Without dialing it in mechanically, you have to dial it in with blade choice and blade pairing. Um, these all did a great job. For, for, for my order though, number one's gonna go to console. Uh, number two is going to be the SR71. Number three is going to be the OG, the 34, or sorry, 37 HD. Number five uh, is going to be the Phoenix Artisan Phantom Blue. Number six, the Parker. Number seven, which I, I, I'm like shocked. I'm Mr. Vintage over here. But number seven, my least favorite, was the Coles. And I wanted to love it because I have fond memories. Yeah, the, uh, the one I wanted, I wanted to love. I was like, like prepping to tell you guys how much the vintage uh, Coles and Hoffritz as like a snob with my finger up is so much better than the modern Mercur, but I like the modern Mercur better. It's been a while since I've done this too. You know, it's been years since I did a slant showdown. But again, if you're that guy who has the um, thick beard, you know, heavy beard and sensitive skin, prone to ingrown hairs, one pass of the slant razor can get that really close, comfortable shave. And you know, especially paired with cold water and a good soap, you're gonna be in business for a fantastic shaving experience. I really think so. If you're someone who has super light, you know, beard, you know, very wispy and, and light and, and um, you know, not a very full beard, I, a slant may be overkill for you. But if you haven't tried one, try one. And, if, and honestly, if I was to have to take any one of these, they would all be fantastic. It wasn't, again, it wasn't like one was horrible and one was phenomenal. They, we're talking shades of gray here, guys. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you've used a slant bar razor, which one's your favorite? Is there one I missed here? Of course, there's probably more. This is just ones we had available in Celt Razor Emporium. So uh, tell me below in the comments. And if you do leave a comment, you are entered into win this. The official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. That's all I've got for you guys today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with your friends, like it, subscribe to our channel, click the bell notification, and we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks guys.